Hey there, it's been a couple weeks since Week in the Life. I think actually it's been a month. Um, and I just kind of put this project to the side while I worked on some other things, took a little bit of a break, and now I'm ready to dive in. So I thought I would film my process for you, and I apologize there's going to be like awkward lighting in this video because I just don't have enough of good lighting to film this entire process and get this album done when I want to. So, you know, it is what it is. I figured it was better to film it than not film it. So again, I do have another video on my YouTube that has a walkthrough of my setup here. So I'm not gonna go through the entire thing again, but I do plan to mostly stick to my plan, which I do have this here. Let's see, where's, here is my plan and my formula. The one thing that I so far have changed is I have the outfit of the day photo on here. And it turns out that I actually took, was pretty good about taking those photos. And I changed my outfit during the day. I have clothes that I wear to work. I have different clothes for stuff I do in the evening. So I do have more than one outfit of the day photo for a lot of days. And so what I'm planning on doing is printing them all out and I will either add another three by eight or I do have some of those page protectors that have like the two three by eights. So I might switch these out for that. I'm not entirely sure yet. I think it depends on the day, but that's just something I'm keeping in mind. So I'm gonna kind of keep this in mind. And my first step is printing all of my photos. So I do still have my checklist here and here's how it kind of figured finished out at the end. Um, and I did my journaling ahead of time, like during the week I typed out my journaling I typed out my overview journaling. I did not type out journaling for my spaces or my prompts, which is fine. A lot of those I think are gonna be very specific stories or um, even photo based. So I'll figure that out as I go. Um, so far I've started printing out photos. I started by printing, these are my circle photos that I did and I'm going to punch these out with this three and a half inch punch. Because this is three and a half inches, I printed my photos to 3.6 inches. Because if it's exactly 3.5, then you're gonna have trouble um, getting it exact with the punch. You're gonna end up with a little bit of a white border. So I'm gonna kind of do this one right here. So I just trim it so it's close, and then I'm gonna try to center the circular object in the punch and punch it out, and I believe this one's Wednesday. I do have it saved on my computer to know which one's on which day, but basically this is going to be adhered here on the correct day behind that opening photo. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and print photos and crop them out and put them in the album. I'm going, a lot of that is over on the computer, so I'm not going to show you the computer process, I don't think, um, but I am going to film some of the, um, process as I crop and put things into the pockets.
so I already cropped out my outfit photos and my circle photos and put them on here and some of my planner photos just so that um, I could print, you know, to not waste any paper. Now I'm working on my large outside the page protector photos, which I do have quite a few of those and I'm doing my first photo of the day to start. Hey, pumpkin. Um, for my first photo of the day, I typically do just my favorite or, you know, get a photo of each person or something like that. But instead this year, I wanted to switch it up and I decided to do a photo looking down at my feet every day. And I wanted to keep it interesting, have something a little bit different um, for each day. And then what I had wanted to do with my original plan, if you see here, with my original plan, I had the thought that I was going to hand write on my photo and I also thought about doing that on the flat lay. So what I had done was I took um, a misprint here and I had tested out some pens on here. This is the, um, here, I'll show you these. Okay, so this is the Posca paint pen, which is this larger one. And this is the Acrylograph from Archer and Olive, which is a thinner paint pen. So this is the Acrylograph. And honestly, I think that one worked really well. It's very thin. The Posca paint pen is thick and I do really like it. The problem is it tends, to, it seems like it rubs off a little bit um, at the points. And I don't know if it's because the printer, the photo paper I use, which is the Canon Luster photo paper. So it's not a super glossy surface. Um, it works in sometimes, other times it doesn't. I messed around with it and I thought about it. I tested out some like words that I might wanna write. And I just ultimately wasn't happy with it. I thought, you know, I'm gonna mess up. It's not gonna be perfect. I don't wanna be printing a thousand times. So what I decided to do was instead of this, um, which I also have both of these pens in white. So I was thinking I would do black and white depending on the photo. I decided to pull my photos into Procreate on my iPad and use my Apple Pencil to write on them. And that way I can do as many times as I want and I can, um, you know, delete and edit and use some of the functions in the iPad and Procreate to make straight lines. So I decided to do that. So I'm going to write on a number of my photos this year with different things. I have not fully thought through of what I'm going to do, but that's just kind of like a theme I'm going to do throughout my album this year. So what I decided to do for my first page of each day was take a down, a photo looking at my feet and write out the day of the week in the middle of the photo somehow that kind of fits in with it. So here's Monday, and here's Tuesday. So when I, during the week when I was living, I didn't plan this. So I didn't actually have photos for every single day, but I did have enough. So I think this one was actually taken on Monday. That's fine. What I decided to do was just make sure that there was nothing going on in the photo that indicated that it was the wrong day. So this could have been Tuesday. This one was Wednesday, walking at work. Thursday, again, me having a snack here. I think this one, again, was taken on a different day. Here's Friday, and this is me coming down the stairs in the morning for work and looking at my watch of what time I come down. Saturday, here's me cooking dinner. You can't really see my feet, but it's the same idea. And then Sunday with my coffee. So I really love how these turned out. I really like that this is a fun difference on what I normally do. Um, I'm really kind of switching up my album this year, changing my focus, just based on, you know, the fact that I've done this project so many years and also the fact that, you know, my life is starting to look a little bit different. And so I want my album to be focused primarily on me and not the people in my life so much. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put you on fast forward as I crop all of these out. I'm just gonna kind of doing a little bit while I'm talking here, um, but I am gonna crop them. I'm not going to put hole punches in them yet because they are gonna be glued back to back with another photo or words, depending on what, you know, what I, is going on in my plan. And I don't wanna punch the holes till I have both things on there so I don't have to punch it twice. But for now, this is what I'm got. So I'm gonna put you on fast forward while I crop these out.
back on here to give you guys an update. So I've been working through the journaling and the journaling is always the part that takes me the longest for some reason. I do type everything up during the week. So you would think it would be kind of quick to get it in the album, but for whatever reason, it always takes me forever to get it in the album. So this is the format I ended up working out. Um, I did, and as you just saw, I did um, put together Monday's words first just to get a feel for how I want it. And now I'm doing my assembly line approach to complete the other six days. So basically what I'm doing is I have my opening photo and then I have a full page spread that includes my journaling. I printed, I, so I, what I wanted to do was highlight my journaling here with mild liners um, for the color of the day that I'm doing. So Monday is red. Um, this is the pink that I'm using for Sunday. But when I tried printing out from my printer, the mild liners actually smeared the text when I highlighted over it. So it wasn't going to work. So what I ended up doing was printing my journaling on vellum. And then what I did was I took, this is a thin uh, white uh, matte photo paper for my printer, which is Canon. And it's just almost like regular paper, but it's um, super bright white on one side and it's designed to print um, photos on or journaling cards. But I'm using it here um, because I love the color, the brightness of this white. So what I did was I printed my journaling out on vellum and I'm going to highlight under the words like this. So how I made that work was because this paper is so thin, I layered it over the top of my journaling and I pushed it up against my window so the light would shine through. And I know they make light boxes for this, but a window is a cheap way to do it because everyone already has a window. And then I just highlighted the words that I wanted. And so now what I'm going to do is overlay that, and this is part of Sunday's journaling, on here and make sure everything's lined up. And then what I'm going to do is, um, using my rolling adhesive, I'm just going to adhere the vellum to that white paper so everything is lined up where I want it. Now, this isn't in, I'm going to permanently be glued down because you can see these crop marks here because this is going to be seven by eight and a quarter to fit in my album. So what I'm doing is I'm adhering them so they stay in place while I'm working with it. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to add the vellum hearts that came from the release this year in the vellum set um, for each day of the week right here at the top and then on the other side my journaling starts at the very top of the page and then i'm using black thread in my sewing machine to just stitch a border around the journaling this doesn't look perfect i absolutely um, once I did it, I don't love it. It's not my favorite thing I've ever done, but I'm going to go with it. I don't hate it. <laughs> and it actually is growing on me the more I'm looking at it. So my journal is going to be like this in here, uh, a full page spread. Because it's so white with the contrast of the black, I'm considering moving something in between here, like a photo or something, but I haven't decided yet. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these together and get everything done. So I am going to continue my assembly line approach. So what I'm doing now is gluing everything down. Once I've glued it down, then my next step is to add the vellum uh, hearts and then take them over to my sewing machine and do the stitching. After I get everything stitched in place, um, then I'm going to go ahead and crop out the left-hand side so I can and adhere it to the back of that day's photo and punch it and stick it in the album. And the right hand side, I'm going to crop, but leave it loose until I prepare what's going to go in the back, which might be what I do next. So you can see there was Sunday and you can also see here, this is Saturday. You can also see here that my journaling is um, in a different format each day. So I come up with a prompt. I use prompt based journaling for the, for the day each day of the week and but every day I have like a different a different prompt so for Monday I did today I on Sunday I did times so I did like time stamps of when I did certain things and the way that I did figure that out when I wasn't journaling you know as the day went on I journaled part of the day 
but I'm, you know, not nonstop during the day. I was able to look at the timestamps on my photos. This year I took the majority of my photos with my iPhone and they are nicely timestamped. So I'm able to use that to um, decide or to know when I took photos for that. For Saturday, I used thankful journaling and you can see here for Saturday, I didn't actually have a ton of journaling. Um, so what I'm going to probably do is add an extra photo right here, but I'm not sure yet. I might actually end up using patterned paper or something depending on how many photos I have as I go through my formula. So here I'm moving on to Friday. Friday's journaling I use today I'm struggling and today I'm loving depending on what the item was that I was mentioning or journaling about. And some of these prompts actually lend themselves more to telling the complete story of everything you did, such as the timestamp one. And some of them don't. So the today I'm loving, today I'm struggling. Sometimes there's things you do during the day that don't really fit into either of those categories. And in that situation, I either just leave it out of my journaling entirely or I break the mold and add something separate. But generally I just left it out because this is not the only journaling I'm doing in this project. It is just um, journaling that I am doing, the main journaling I'm doing. The rest of my journaling has specific prompts to it um, that you will see as I get to it. And you can see a little bit more about that in my planning video. Um, but for now, I'm just working on this primary journaling that is very chronological in a sense about what I did each day, but from a different lens. So here's Thursdays and Thursdays is I want to remember and you can see again, I do have more space here. Um, I tend to have more space later in the week and do less journaling. Sunday just ended up with a lot of journaling because of the timestamp and how easy it is to fit everything into a timestamp versus a specific prompt. Um, Thursday and Friday, Saturday had a, not so much. Wednesday here I think was just a busy day. So Wednesday I did these days as my prompt and um, I'm on yellow because I'm doing them in rainbow order if you missed that earlier. Um, so for Wednesday, I actually had a lot of journaling and some of these I had to kind of mess with it in Photoshop to make it fit because I didn't want to go onto a third page. If you have looked at any of my videos of previous years, Week in Life, you will see that sometimes when, even when I did my journaling like this up front, um, I haven't always done it this way, but when I did journaling like this in one large section per day, I, um, didn't actually um, get it fit on two pages. I journaled so much, especially on Mondays, that it went on to like three or maybe four pages sometimes. So this is definitely shorter for me this year. Um, I think I definitely simplified this project, um, which I still am very happy with it. So Tuesday for my prompt, I did Tuesdays R4. And I did have one spot here be that did not follow the Tuesdays R4. Tuesday this week, was actually the last day of school. So I wrote here that today was the last day of school. I'm not gonna say Tuesdays are for the last day of school because it happens once a year. So that was a one spot where I broke from my prompt space journaling, but otherwise I stuck with it. So now what I'm going to do is go through the album and pull out you know, these hearts and get these stuck down um, on here. And then I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine, do my stitching, come back and do my cropping and everything, but I'm going to um, do that off camera or maybe some of it on fast forward because you don't need to see me do the exact same thing, you know, a hundred times, well, six times, and you already watched me do it once. Um, but then once I get my journaling done, I will take a look at where I am in my album and figure out what thing I want to work on next. My thought is it's going to be the page that goes behind the journaling just to kind of keep it in um, in order so that my album can start getting assembled. Um, but we'll see. And I do want to point out that when I'm adhering these hearts down, so these two got out of order here, which is totally fine. Um, and the colors are reminding me which day is which. Um, one thing I do want to 
point out though is while I'm adhering these hearts down, I'm using this right here, which is a vellum um, glue tape rather than the Tombow permanent adhesive I generally use. And that's because the Tombow adhesive is blue. So if you put it behind vellum, you can see it through and you can see it through here, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna crop these out. But this one, you will be able to see it, which is why I'm using the vellum adhesive. The vellum adhesive is not perfect. You can still see it sometimes. Um, so I'm just putting a very small amount to hold it in place because what I really am going to do is stitch it down. I just need enough on there so that it stays in place as I'm stitching. And if you really don't want any adhesive, um, a way I've done that in the past is to use washi tape to adhere it um, temporarily until you get to stitching it down. But um, this one, I feel like because the vellum is not white and because there's that gold text on there, you're not really going to see this adhesive. And I am putting such a small amount that I'm not too concerned about it showing through. Okay, so now I'm going to head over to my sewing machine and do all of my stitching. Okay, for most of this video, I'm not really doing voiceovers because I am cutting in so much to give you updates, but I did just wanna pop on here for a little and talk about um, doing this journaling. So I'm not super thrilled with the way that this came out, but I stuck with my original plan. Once I had done the first one, you know, I just wanted to complete the pages and get the project done. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I think if I was doing it over, I wouldn't use the black thread. Um, I think it's just a little too bold on the white for my liking, but it does tend to go with the album. This part of the process took the longest by far. Um, I think it was just very tedious to do all seven in a row. One thing I want to point out, I know a lot of people when they're working on this project do these, um, they do all of Monday, then all of Tuesday, and that's just not how I work. And that's not how my brain works when I'm doing these kind of assembly line approaches. I do Mondays of an entire page to make sure that I like the way it's coming out. And then once I've got that, then I do Tuesday through Sunday of that exact same thing. So what I'm doing here are these journaling pages and I had taken them all over to my sewing machine as I indicated before and now I'm just taping down the stitching in the back and cropping everything out. Um, my cat is also really enjoying the sunshine here on my desk so I hope that's not distracting especially on eight times feed with him bathing himself but I think it's kind of funny. So anyways I'm going to put some music on here for a bit and then I will pop back in when there's something else to say. here because now I'm working on these pages that go on the back side of my journaling and I'm just kind of calling them the this is day pages so you can see on the left there that this is Monday page so I put that one together and I actually created a reel for that process so if you want to see that that's over on my Instagram and now I'm going through and doing Tuesday through Sunday so what I did for these is I'm cropping a piece of white cardstock to seven by eight and a quarter which is the size of the outside of the page protector. So I'm using a lot of pages in that size this year. And then I printed out three photos per day 
and I took one of the vellum squares from the vellum pack that was one of the products released from Ellie Edwards this year with the Week in the Life collection, and I'm pairing those four squares on the page, and then across the middle, I am stamping out this is and then the day of the week. I'm using this alpha stamp, which was from Allie Edwards from December Daily, I believe, in 2020. And it's one of my favorites. I love that the alphas are filled in. I'm sorry for my head coming into the screen so much, but that's kind of just what you need to stamp. So because I laid out all six at once, I can... Um, make this process as fast as possible. I do stamp one letter at a time because I don't like the spacing. When you stamp more than one letter at once, you don't get um, to control the spacing between the letters so much. And you can see for like Wednesday, I want the letters overlapping more than like Friday because I do want to fit it on the page. So when I'm doing them all together, it makes the process go a little bit faster because then I can stamp, you know, all the E's without having to change the stamp. And then I'm doing a smaller alpha stamp. This one is an older set from Studio Calico and this is years old. Um, and I'm just writing this is. And because again, I'm doing all of them at once, I can go through and do all the I's, all the S's and just stamp the same letter six times. So that is just that process of getting the stamping, which takes a while, but honestly, it's kind of a therapeutic process. I really enjoy it. And then the next step is to get my photos onto these pages. So I'm just going to crop them all out and lay them out. Again, I printed these photos. I believe they are two and a half inch squares because that is the size of the vellum squares that came in the kit. And I just chose a, a vellum square per day that I was trying to do a color of the day, but I also tended to go with something that fit. So for example, on Monday, I did the one that had a picture of a washing machine because I do laundry on Mondays. And then I picked three photos that had to do with the laundry. And I did that. Um, not They don't always have a theme. Like this one is stories from the week, which is not the color of the day, which was yellow and they're just random stories from the day, but I just went with whatever was working from what was available to me based on the photos I had and the um, vellum pieces that I had. And then I'm using my six hole punch to punch holes into these. Again, the back side of them is the second page of journaling. I'm not print, um, punching holes on every single one because some of those journaling ones, the journaling doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So I do need to print another photo to adhere on there. And I always want to wait until I'm done adhering everything down before I punch the holes because I don't want to have to come back and punch them again. As you can see here, this process gets a little tedious doing the same thing six times, but these pages are coming together fairly quickly. Um, so on Friday here, I had one that said, thank you. So I pulled three photos that were things that I was grateful for that happened on Friday. And I'm not even going to add any journaling to these pages. It's just kind of a little, um, just a little bit of a story that, you know, I might remember when I'm flipping through the album or you might not even pick up on it. It doesn't really matter. It was just a way to get some of my photos into the project and, you know, have a little bit of interest on the page. So for, let's see here for, I'm working on Sunday. And so I had this one that was a like a vellum piece of like things to get ready. So I was trying to find photos to get ready in the morning for that. I didn't really have that many, but you know, it worked out. Um, I really just kind of wanted to use that vellum. Okay, so I finished these and I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of them in the album. So some of them I have not yet punched because I need to print a photo to go here and I will punch it once I get to doing that. Um, then I was going through and trying to do the rest of my photos and in doing so, I kind of realized my plan doesn't really allow for enough photos. And I had originally tried my best to kind of reduce the number of photos I was going to include this year. I thought, you know, I wasn't going to go as photo heavy as I have in the past. And, you know, I haven't um, taken as many, or I didn't think I would take as many photos. Um, and I didn't, I didn't end up taking as many photos. I ended up liking most of the photos I took. So what ended up happening is that 
I didn't have a lot of photos that I eliminated. And so most of my photos I want in my album. And I had, if you look at my original plan again, I have here, so we'll go through Monday. I have my opening. I have this photo here. I have my daily page, my journaling, these photos. I have my three way prompts card, my outfit of the day, vellum circle, my planner, and I have room for three more photos here. My vellum prompt photos, and then some templates, my flat lay screenshots, photo of a space, and my a large closing photo and then another template there but I don't have enough I don't have anything really else so what I decided that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in a another page protector with four by six photos on each day and maybe towards the end of the week I won't need that as much but what I'm doing now is I'm going through and I am editing and printing photos to go in those three by four pockets. And then these are gonna be four, four by six. And I think that that's gonna give me the space I need to get more photos in the album. So right now I'm just gonna go through and start editing, printing, and slipping those in the album. And I don't think I'm going to film that entire process because there's really, most of the work is being done on my computer and it's just being edited and, um, cropped and stuff on the computer then I'm just printing them and I'm literally going to cut these out and slip, slip them in the pockets. In the future I might go forward with adding some embellishments once everything's in the pockets but I'm going to really do you know getting everything in here first and then I will move on to doing embellishments. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my camera and get all of this part done. Good morning, friends. Happy. Um, it's now Sunday morning and it's a very sunny morning. So I'm sorry about that. I'm enjoying it, but I'm sure on the camera, it doesn't look as great, but I wanted to check in with you guys because I am in that messy middle phase of putting my album together. I am a little concerned with how thick this album is getting because I still have to insert three more pages, no, four more pages per day, which is just pretty excessive considering how thick this is. Although I do have um, some page protectors holding spots, but I, so I'm gonna maybe have to adjust, but we'll see how this goes. So I'm just gonna kind of go through here with my template and kind of show you where I am and what I am going to be working on. So we're gonna just go through Monday here. So Monday, so far I have my cover. I've got my circle done. Sorry, my printer's making noise. I have my um, intro page. I've got my journaling completed. I've got this, this is Monday page stamped out. Um, these three by eight inserts, some of them are done when they're photo only. If I'm going to do journaling, that's handwritten. So I'm gonna do that later. My outfit of the day photos. Then I have my pocket page with three by fours and you can see there's no embellishing yet. I'm gonna come back and do that at the end. And then I have, so this takes you up through here. These four pages that are listed out here are all outside the page protector and they have not been done. I also added in a page here that has two four by six photos for each day, except I believe Friday, because I just had so many photos I wanted to include and there was no way for me to narrow them down. So I've got to get three more pages in here and or four more pages and these pages are outside the page protector ones and they are what I'm working on now. So these ones I have, I have not done my vellum prompts yet. My vellums are pieces are here and I'm in the process of working on that. I believe those will be the last thing I do. On the back here, I decided to do a photo template that it's eight and a quarter and these are five and a half across and it has two photos from the day and that's just going so these are my monday photos and i'm printing them out like that so these are just going to be like that um, in here and then on the back side is a photo of a space so for monday i decided to do the kitchen so what i'm going to do is i'm printing those photos five and a half across and right now i'm just going to crop them out i'm going to do some typed journaling and then i'm going to stamp out 
the name of the room and put it across here as a title using the same alpha that I used right here. So I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera because first of all, there's a lot of just like cropping that's tedious, a lot of the computer work, and then um, a lot of, and I'm just going to work on it while I am on the phone with some friends so I don't have my phone available to film. But here's Monday's printed out. So I'm going to go ahead and crop those out and work on the stamping. Then I have, so that's these two pages, the vellum ones I haven't done yet. Here are the screenshot templates. So this is a screenshot template that um, was in Allie Edwards' shop for 2021 Week in the Life. And I resized it to the outside the page projector size. And I'm going to include it in here. I'm gonna crop it out. And this is Monday's. And that's going to be the front of the page. And then the back is my flat lay photo. And I've printed out all my flat lay photos here. So here's Monday's. And that's just gonna be cropped out here back to back and punched in here. So that's one thing I'm going to work on today. A second thing is this back here. This final photo template is just gonna be the last photos that are left that didn't make it to any other page. And then the very last page, I made these photos where I did some handwriting on them in Procreate on my iPad. And I have one for every day. So I'm just gonna crop those out and adhere them back to back with those photo templates. So what I'm gonna be working on now off camera is cropping all of these things out, adhering things back to back, punching them, and getting the stamping done potentially for my titles here. Then I will um, do my typed journaling for here and the vellum prompts and come back and put the final, put everything in the album. And then my last step will be final embellishing and potentially a cover, which I did have a plan for, but because this album is so thick, I might not even put anything. I might just maybe put Week in Life over here or something, but we'll see. So that's where I am right now. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get the bulk of this completed today. Okay, I'm back with another update. I just want to point out, I know in this video, I keep popping in with updates and you're seeing them all in a row, but for me in real time, it has been the course of a few weeks. It's probably been about a month that I've been working on this project. So I'm sorry if I have repeated myself or shown you the same thing more than once or missed anything. Um, please just leave any questions in the comments down below and I will address them. So now I'm getting towards the very end and I'm finding that this is too thick. So my original plan here, I have already done and shown you all the way through here. I added an extra page and then I've gotten this one in. So what I had left were these three pages and I just don't think that's possible. So what I decided to do was pair this template with these photo, the spaces back to back and put the vellum prompts on here. For some of the days I have eliminated one of the vellum prompts because I didn't really have a good story or photo for it anyways. For some of the days I put both of them on here. And then for two days, because I had so many photos to include, I did follow my original plan. So what I'm going to do now, I have everything printed out. So what I'm going to do now is I have everything printed out, ready to crop and assemble. So some of these have multiple days on it and some photos that go with multiple days, but otherwise I have a stack for each day. And each stack has my stamped and cut out letters, which I think my K is missing here. I will find that in a moment. Um, oh, it's right there under screen time. So this is gonna say kitchen. So there's the photo of, my, of the room. There's my layered template with the two photos. There's my final page, which has my handwriting on it. And then there's the layer template that's gonna go on the back of that. And then here is my vellum piece. So for Monday, I only have one vellum prompt and I paired it with a few other photos and that's what's gonna go here. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and crop, put you on fast forward, crop everything out, adhere things down, punch them and get them into the album.
I just wanted to pop in here and say, I struggled so much with this process, way more than I should have, just because things just weren't working for me. I had issues with my three hole punch, which you see, it just keeps getting stuck. Um, and the holes don't punch all the way through. I tried punching through some foil and that helped a little bit, but it still, it was just getting to be too annoying. So I switched to using my, um, my crocodile um, for a bit, but the holes with that are just so small that they don't turn as well. And the album there, you can see my crocodile. So then I eventually switched to a regular, um, just single hole punch. The single hole punch sized holes are great, but it's just not as strong. So punching through um, thicker items is kind of difficult, but I'm using thin photo paper here. My words are printed, my white words right there are printed on matte photo paper, which is extremely thin. It's almost just like regular printer paper, just a better quality as surface. The photos are on luster photo paper, which is a little bit thicker, but it's still um, thin enough that I can punch through it. And I use that thin paper because you can see it's being backed with the page that has two photos on it. And that one does have the luster photo paper, so it is a little bit thicker. Um, then I also struggled with my sewing machine. I was having issues with that as well. And I was just getting very frustrated with this process. This is truly the messy middle of this project. And at this point, I really just wanted to get everything in the album and get this project finished. <laughs>
I really just want to get this album completed. So I did not buy a lot of supplies this year. I bought the transparent dividers and the vellum pieces. And these are the vellum pieces I have left. There were a couple others that I had kind of put aside at the very beginning as things I would never use. Um, these two just didn't make it. So I'm gonna keep them in mind as something I might use as I'm going through to embellish. I also went through my stash and pulled out some puffy stickers, um, some chipboard. I've pulled out word, word phrase strips, which I have here. And then this sticker sheet, which was from a week in the life release from a previous year. I also have my chipboard drawer and I'm going to probably pull out some other embellishments. Um, as I'm going through here, I have assigned a color per day. So I'm kind of using that as a guide to embellish. And I'm gonna just try to do something somewhat repetitive through the album. Some pages like the cover here, I will probably leave completely unembellished. And I'm just gonna go through and add stuff when I need to add handwritten journaling. I'm gonna do that and just finish up this album. Okay, so I'm just continuing along here. As you can see, I am going through my stash and pulling out embellishments and using a color of the day for each day. I also found these old mommy stickers that had a day of the week and I'm putting those on my outfit of the day photos. I'm kind of following a loose formula where um, photos in the same placement are getting similar treatment on each day. But there's some like that one where I just put the puffy sticker where I didn't have those puffy stickers in every color. So I'm only using them when they make sense. I'm pulling out a little bit of chipboard from my stash, um, but that's pretty much it. I'm not really worried too much about, um, you know, having the same consistent use throughout the album. I'm just trying to use up some of my stash and kind of loosely stick with the color scheme. Um, 
if you saw when I was on Wednesday, I also had one, one pocket that didn't have a photo. So I pulled one pocket, a uh, three by four card out of my stash that was just a regular um, pocket card to include in that spot. Um, after I finish all of my embellishing, I am going to go ahead and make a title page. Instead of doing a full title page, I'm going to just put my title on the left-hand side of the album um, on the inside cover. And then I'm going to fill in those three by eight um, prompt cards. Some of them I left space for handwritten journaling. And so I go ahead and do that at the very end. And then I'm calling my album done. Um, I'm not going to do a final walkthrough on this video. I will share a separate video that is a full walkthrough of this album. And if you're watching this, as soon as I post it, I'm going to share that in um, probably about a week or maybe two. Um, I have a few other videos that I want to share with you guys first, and then I will get that one up and posted on here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just let the music play this video out. Um, but thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you want to continue to be, see my videos, please go ahead and sub subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.